Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and share something excited with, or exciting with you guys, which is the fact that there is a new pretty big Grim Dawn update. And I actually didn't play the last Grim Dawn update, which introduced the custom or sorry, the optimization patch. So I want to go ahead and show you guys what kind of happened just very briefly in this update. TLDR, they have updated every single epic item in the game. Um, there are a lot of epics. Epics were best in slot in certain pieces, like certain equipment slots, like rings or etc. for a lot of builds, so this was really nice. This also makes the progression of Grim Dawn feel a lot better because it doesn't feel like you're as punished for not having legendaries because epics have been boosted up in power. It also improves a lot of uh, monster infrequent drops for people who don't know. I'll give you a quick example. Say you're playing Path of Exile and you kill Brutus. Brutus would have a chance that he drops a piece of gear with a signature stat on it, which would be like, say, a plus two projectiles to tectonic slam or something. Uh, they made it so those stats overall feel more impactful or they buff the base stats that go with it one or the other So it, it's it's a good basically. It's good um, Scrolling down. There's a lot of stuff that's been changed, but we're not really talking about this video for that So feel free to check out the change log Today I want to talk to you guys about the build I'm gonna be playing in Grim Dawn now It is going to be a build that I haven't really played before that it's kind of signature to Grim Dawn. It's a retaliation build now, retaliation builds are boring for a lot of people. Uh, basically, it is a build that says, I get hit, and then when I get hit, I deal damage to you. It's thorns, right? So I wanted to have an interesting take on it because I try to do things a little different than most people. So we're playing a ideally full lightning retaliation build. Now, I'm building around a set called the Dawn Guard and the Dawn Seekers. I think those are the two. So there's an epic set called Dawn Guard, which is really good because... Epics are a lot easier to get than uniques unless or legendaries unless you can specifically target farm them. So in this instance, we're aiming towards our Dawn, uh, Dawn Guard for our epics. And the reason why is it gives retaliation damage and then flat lightning. And then it gives pretty huge retaliation bonuses here. And then chance when hit, this is, I don't really think this is very good because it doesn't do retaliation damage, but basically we're trying to get started in the game with this. Uh, and then as for our end game set, we're aiming towards the Dawn Breaker, which if we just scroll down here and explain a little bit, um, the main reason why I want to play this build is because I can get retaliation damage added to Savagery. And down here you can see another 15%. What this means is, is it takes my retaliation number and gives me a percentage of that onto an attack, which means that you can actually attack with the builds. So you're not just standing there and doing nothing. So that's good. So it, it, it promotes more active play. And it's important because with retaliation, you cannot hit range monsters and casters. So you need a way of actually killing those targets. So with that being said, that's all I really did with itemization. Uh, I want to go ahead and show you my devotions. So devotions are my favorite part of Grim Dawn. As you guys know, I, I love the devotion tree in Grim Dawn. So I'm gonna just glance over some of the big pointers we get. This is gonna be a relatively tanky build, but we're aiming to do good damage still. So what does that mean exactly? Well, here's what it means. We are going to be picking up Behemoth. Behemoth is one of my favorite guys. It's basically all centered around life and life regen. Uh, Giant's Blood is when you get hit, we're gonna get hit a lot because that's the whole point of the build. We get a huge life regen bonus. The main reason we get this is because the life regen is gonna scale real nicely. Uh, we also get Messenger of War, which is pretty much core for most retaliation builds. The reason why is this big node uh, makes it so, again, when you get hit, which is often, uh, you get a huge surge and spike of retaliation damage. Uh, if I were to remove something, this is probably the guy that I would end up removing. Then uh, for one of the earlier game ones, we get Wraith, which basically gives us uh, starting retaliation. And because we level with Primal Strike, um, we actually go with, uh, th this is just a good note in general because it scales flat lightning and, and lightning in general. Since one of the best ways in Grim Dawn to scale your damage is shredding resistances, we have Arcane Bomb on one of our skills here. Arcane Bomb essentially, uh, what it does is, is we have a chance on attack to summon a bomb that reduces their lightning res. And remember, lightning is going to be our primary source of, uh, re of damage. There we go. Uh, over here to the right, I've got Stag, which mainly is just as filler. Same with Lotus for filler. 
um, but it's okay, we get retaliation damage here. Lotus is good because we get 3% Fizz Res and 6% healing effect. I don't know if healing effect works for life regen, but I would imagine it does. For people who are going to ask why I don't have uh, Elemental Storm, um, the reason is because I was managed to fit in. I managed to fit in Tip the Scales, which reduces their resistances when we get hit, and this is when we get hit, which is awesome because Crown requires me to hit someone to reduce the resistance. This allows me to get hit and reduce the resistance. I believe the game takes the highest source of flat resistance reduction. Uh, but you can stack most instances of percentage reduction. Not 100% sure on that one. This is not really a tutorial video, just, you know, explaining my character. Then I've got Targo, but I don't complete him. Targo I mainly have for all the defenses that we get. Um, it's super nice. I can absolutely change it to get Shield Wall, because Shield Wall is nuts. But I'm not physical retaliation. And it's just difficult to get with my build right now, which is just one of the downsides. I mean, I could always just like remove this and grab it. But, you know, as we play through the build, we'll find more stuff to kind of change. Uh, and then the two main ones is Shield Maiden and Obelisk, which are the big boys. Shield Maiden is pretty much all based around shield. It makes you super tanky with a shield. Super good. And then Obelisk is a big one for retaliation. You get stone form, chance on block for huge steroid of retaliation damage. And in general, you just got a, a bunch of retaliation in there. So to minimize off all this, I wanna show you the character in his prime at the moment. Let me just real fast pause that and switch this over. So I leveled with Primal Strike. I basically just got a two-hander and pump Primal Strike and Torrent and you just kill everything and you pick your passives for surviving. So to kind of explain the skills real fast, I'm going to be, and this is just a rough draft, but one point Blitz for mobility, one point War Cry and Break Morale because I believe it silences, so it pulls monsters closer to you to melee you. I've got Field Command and Squad Tactics right now, just one point in each. I've got Men Here's Will, one point. We'll be putting more points into this. Military Conditioning, one point. We'll be putting more naturally into most of these. Uh, Overguard, we're going to get a little bit of I basically just wanted to max our men here's bulwark because it gives damage absorption, which is just like global damage reduction, gives huge retaliation. It's huge steroids for our build. Um, Counter Strike is our main way of killing non melees because it hits like casters and ranged as well. If we can proc it, so this is why this is giga maxed. As for our shaman, I currently don't really have much in here, I just have Savagery to get tenacity of the boar to keep up keep us up defensively And then I've got a few points in Mog Drogon's Pact and Heart of the Wild I'm aiming now to grab Oak Skin uh, since Oak Skin is retaliation damage And then we'll put like two points in Wendigo Totem for some sustain So I want to go ahead and show you a little bit of content. So we are oops. This is not the right place I think we were right over I just got into Ugdenbog at Gloom, well, not Ugnenbog yet, but Gloomwall. Uh, I also want to pop my devotions up so you can just see what I'm using right now. So I've got Messenger of War. This is on one of our buffs, so it happens all the time. Uh, I have currently Giant's Blood from Behemoth. We're filling this out. I have Quill as a filler so that I could get Rowan's Crown now because it's a lot more difficult to get it than, or it's a lot more difficult to get Harp. Uh, also, Crown is very good early game because it actually helps us with some damage. You'll see it proccing a lot. Uh, we've got Lotus, I've got Hound, and then I've got the Wraith like I was telling you guys about. So ideally we're going to finish off Behemoth, and then after we finish Behemoth, I think we go into uh, Arcane Bond. I would kind of show my gear, but... There's just like too much to show in Grim Dawn. <laughs> so I'll just glance over it. The gear's not really very good because it's, you know, I, uh, oh, I guess I kind of forgot to say this, but I wiped my save file in Grim Dawn to start all over. The only thing I kept was my recipes, which I don't have them all. So everything is basically starting fresh again. I'll show you the damage on an elite because that, that's where it'll be more. Prevalent. These guys have like 40k HP. 
I don't think they're actually hitting me. They're just like... There we go. They're using their skill. Hmm. That's actually pretty good. Um, using the rainbow mod as well for people who are curious. I don't have a download link for you. Uh, I don't even remember where I got it. It's, it's my old one that I updated. I hope that this boss melees. I think there's a purple crab in here, if I remember correctly. If he doesn't melee... Ooh, well, here's a big guy. 55k. Oh, there's two of them. Nice. So the damage right now is super solid. And this is... Plus one to all skills in Soldier Rare Belt? Oh, we got an upgrade. I'm fucking happy. Thanks, dude. Oh, shit. Yo, Krabby, come here. I can't do that. Hit me, Krabby. He's not hitting me. Does he not, does he not attack? There we go. Now he's attacking. So when our health gets low right now, we got some pretty cool things that happen. One, we have the soldier passive. Oh, actually, that's all we have is the soldier passive. That's really about it. Which heals us for nothing because I only have one point in it. But it will be kind of like a cheat death eventually. But I can always just pot. Impenetrable Girdle of the Sea. Well, that's the same one I just fucking found. Oh, it's a MI here. Ah, it's a monster infrequent. Very nice. I'm happy I came here. Okay, so now that I showed you a little bit of that, I want to go let you know of the current crafting project that I'm aiming towards. So, in Grim Dawn, um, part of the, in my opinion, one of the most fun things to do in Grim Dawn is build your character. Like, you theory craft your character like I kind of showed you guys, and then you start putting your character together, right? So, for me right now, there's also a search bar in Grim Dawn now, fucking fantastic just saying literally makes the game playable so what i was doing is i looked at relics and i was like hmm, i'm trying to farm a retaliation relic so i, I just tap typed in ret actually retail and i could look here at fortress fortress is a super solid uh transcendent relic for us that gives physique health scaling armor fizz, fizz resist is one of the more difficult resistances to come by retaliation damage and then grants living fortress which gives me an active so I can boost my health by 50%, boost my life regen, and boost my physical resist. And it's 12 second duration on 40 second recharge. If that 50% health counts as a heal too, this is gonna be super phenomenal. Uh, and I have everything except for the ballistic plating and ancient heart because my sanctuary goes right into that. So that's kind of what our current goal is. The next goal is definitely leveling and pushing into the next the next difficulty because we're ready to take on the next difficulty already for sure uh and then definitely getting a weapon because right now i just have a complete random weapon that just gives health um yeah yep that's pretty much about it so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh please be a little patient i'll have the poe 3.9 video up for you guys in a bit i just haven't had the time to make it i just decided on the grim dawn one because this is currently what i'm playing uh, i will be covering grim dawn for most likely the next week uh, i know i was going to do lost ark but grim dawn literally popped out the day i was going to do lost ark so sorry lost ark gonna have to try grim dawn um, so yeah, I'm going to catch you guys later. Remember, if you like the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't, re don't forget, you can always catch me live at twitch.tv slash pox. Take care, everybody. I've modified my schedule a little bit. I've been waking up anywhere from 6 o'clock a.m. to 8 o'clock a.m. Central Time. And I usually stream from then all the way up until about 6 o'clock p.m. Central Time. So take care. Thanks for watching, everybody.